Ricky and today I just want to do something uh, relatively new to this series which is uh, instead of me talking about Reiki I want to um, you know do a Reiki healing video to assist everyone um, on the you know healing journey um, most of the time I would like um, you know this um, healing video to be focusing on a certain team so um, I will be uh, you know working with the Reiki and um, channeling the messages as well as uh, if there's anything else that's coming through I will be you know um, I will be channeling the energy um, you know for everyone okay so there's nothing much you need to do if you are open to receive feel free to um, you know just consent just say the consent um, um, something like I um, this is your full name here consent to receive this healing energy for my highest and greatest good and the highest and greatest good of all involved okay i will have that in um you know um, like like a caption over there you can feel free to read that um in order to receive the reiki healing energy from this video okay so yes like just sit back relax you can actually lie down if you feel called to and you can close your eyes or you can have a soft gaze there's no right or wrong way to do this okay so over here i like to invite you to take a deep breath with me breathe with me breathe in for three and out for five breathe in for three and out for five breathe in for three out for five if you have any thoughts that is in your mind if there's anything that's bothering you anything that you know any intrusive thoughts that you have any worries any um, intense emotion intense feeling that you know you need to express Okay, you don't have to, you know, tend to them down. You don't have to um, entertain those intrusive thoughts right now. Feel free to visualize. Visualize yourself. Call in a cloud. And the cloud slowly from the far away plane flow near to you. And it stop by, by the top of the head. And over here, you can place all your worries. All your intrusive thoughts all those things that you know that is distracting you from being in this moment on the cloud place them all on the cloud and when you're done just slowly blow and allow the cloud to take all these intrusive thoughts and worries and everything away from you so we're here return to your breathing Allow yourself to form a rhythm. You can count breathing for three and out for five. And again, breathing for three and out for five. And again, breathing for three and out for five. going to help us cleanse our energy field over here we do not need to do anything once again just continue to breathe and be in your zone be in that meditative zone of your own okay so cleanse the energy field and channel in heavenly fire to form a protective layer around our energy field Heavenly Fire is a very high vibrational energy and it helps to transmute any energy that is not um, aligned to us aligned to our frequency helps to transmute all of this um, into a frequency that is more helpful for us it, uh, a frequency that is more beneficial for us so that uh, we can utilize you know this energy in a helpful way to help us improve our life to help us with healing today and a 
as you have read the title and the description, I hope, that today's um, energy session, I am channeling the Reiki to help with energy reception, which would allow one to feel the connection to Reiki or energy on a deeper level. Continue breathing, breathing for three, and out for five. Just feeling the energy flow. Energy will flow in from the crown chakra and slowly trickle in into the top of the head. And then it flows down, down into the forehead, the temper, the eyebrows, the eyes, and flow down into the nose, the cheeks, the ears. The back of the head as well and slowly gently triggering into our mouth our chins our jaw and then slowly going into the neck going into our throat bringing a sense of relief you might be feeling this energy in different sensations it can be hot or cold, it can be tangly or you can feel nothing at all there's no right or wrong way you might be seeing the energy you might be receiving the energy like in other senses the energy is slowly flowing down into the shoulders if there's any tensions there you can feel those tensions being relieved those tensions being you know, slowly melting off from your muscles then the energy slowly flow, flow down into your upper arms, branch up into your upper arms, the elbows, flowing down to your forearms, and then your wrists, your hands, your palms, your fingers, all the way up to the fingertips. And the energy of course also continue to flow down your torso, flow down your chest, up the chest, upper back, melting the tensions in your shoulder blade, flowing into your arm, your, your lungs, sorry, flowing into your lungs, covering your heart center, and then slowly flowing down, covering the rest of your chest, your ribcage. Flowing to your middle back, down your spine, flowing to your upper abdomen, your solar plexus, helping to charge up your solar plexus. You might feel a burst of vitality energy or fiery energy burst through your body. Feel free to take a deep breath in once again and let us any resistance you have storing your body out with your exhale the reiki energy is slowly flowing into the abdomen covering the upper, upper abdomen and then every single organs within the abdomen and then slowly flowing down to the navel area the sacral chakra Towards the back also, it helps to flow down to the lower back If there's any tensions, any aches Feels those tensions and aches melting away Then Reiki continue to flow down Down into the hips Grounding, grounding our energy into the root chakra Helping with the root healing And energy can flow down into the thighs and then to the knees and then flow down down to the cups and shin and then slowly flowing down into the ankles and then to the feet and then covering our toes all the way up to the, tip, the tips of our toes Continue breathing. 
I'll be directing our the Reiki energy to focus on the root chakra, the grounding center first. Grounding is always important, especially if you are aiming to open up your you know energy senses. The more you ground, the more you feel connected to the energies around you. Because to really you know sense the energy we have to go through our body and to be in the body we have to ground into the body so yeah like we're going to focus on the grounding center to strengthen it for those of you who whose um, grounding chakra your root chakra is a little weak we are the reiki is going to strengthen it for you some some of the fears I do feel like could be some sort of like programming that um you know that is like in being in the place over here that is um, I'm sensing that fear of you know being too human being too um ordinary being too um you know like human is being related to be that dirty, that sinful being, the sinful creature. It is not um, helping you to connect to a higher energy because it feels like higher energy needs that purity. It needs that, um, you know, yeah, like that, that very pure energy to connect to. But I have to say the opposite is, tr is true. Like, on a soul level, we are all already that pure, you know, amazing being. We are all amazing, powerful, gigantic spirits, every single one of us. And to be in the physical body is what the spirit wants. Because the spirit wants to experience the physical. You can't, like... Like we can't really um, get in touch with that powerful spirit of us without grounding our spirit into the physical first. The physical is our spirit's desire. Every feel and touch, every sound, every sight, every colors, every taste, every smell, all of these are things that our spirits desire to experience because on a so-called higher dimension we do not really experience all the sensations as a spirit body that's why we wanted the physical body that's why we come to the physical world and experience this physical life as messy and chaotic as it is so getting in touch with your spirit, getting in touch with so-called Reiki, which is spirit energy. Of course, we need to, you know, really ground ourselves into the physical first. Really, you know, being back in this moment. Grounding is also about, you know, being back in the moment itself. Like, really allowing your senses to get in tune with all your surroundings like feeling the wind on your skin like you know self, smelling the subtle um, you know subtle scent in the air listening to the spaintest of the sound that is around us like maybe you're hearing the bird you know that is outside my window over here it is literally indulging in all this little tiny little simple sensation and when we are connected to all of this we are actually you know fueling our spirit up we are actually 
allowing our spirits to talk to us in indulging in all these subtle level sensations. Feel free to breathe, continue to breathe. Feeling that, you know, the rush of air that going into your nostrils, down your nasal passage and into the lungs and fill it up. How sweet the air is, like, like the air you're breathing, how sweet it is. And letting out all those, you know, all those worries, all those um, burdens, all those perceptions that you have about the world. Let them all out, let them all free, let yourself free. To get in touch with the energy around us, we also require a sense of freedom. Because energy is not rigid. You can't just ask energy to come and ask energy to go. Energy requires a flow. And flow is a freedom. to breathe and just allowing yourself to bask in the energy if there's a sunlight around where you are allow yourself to feel how the sunlight is feeling on your skin how it is you know how the light is hitting the back of like the back of your eyelid and still shedding light even if you have your eyes closed the sunlight could be warm and you can even breathe the warm air. And you can feel those warm on your skin. All those little details of the surrounding. These are the things that can help you to feel your spirit of. These are the spiritual energy that is around you. It start with small touches sometimes. It start with very very subtle little things that we don't even pay attention to on our daily lives. And sometimes all it needs for you to increase your energy sensitivity is just slowing down and being in the moment. Being in this exact millisecond feeling every single thing that you can feel that your senses are telling you. I'm also going to send energy to the sacral chakra over here, like bringing our focus over there. Sacral is not just the sexual center, it's not just um, the creative center, it's also the center of sensation. We get more connected to our senses when, we, when our sacral chakra is balanced. Especially, you know, as this video goes up, it's probably still in Taurus season. Allow yourself to, you know, tap into your physical. The physical is a beautiful state of being. It does not need to be anything more for you to be spiritual. Being the physical is spiritual itself too. It's because when we are being physical, we are bringing our spirits into the physical. And we want to do that. Because it's when we bring the spiritual into the physical, we are actually creating. Creating that miracles. You know? The fact, the 
lower back, especially lower back um, around the connection to the hips. Allow yourself to ground into the the reality. I know a lot of times we tend to want to run away from the reality because um, reality can be harsh, reality can, can be difficult but the more we run away, like we are projecting our energy elsewhere the less spirit we have to influence the physical around us and you know, once again, when we don't have that spiritual energy over here it is going to be a little more difficult experience you know like healing a lot of times is about bringing the spirit back into the present back into the now bring your presence back to the now that is important So bring down to the knees to clear up any fears that is lingering in these areas. Usually the fears in the knees, these are the fears that is preventing us from taking the next step. Okay? And usually those are internalized external fears. The fears that the society has taught us. The fears that you know our parents, our teachers and everyone else, like our peers have instilled in us all this will be gathering in the knees and we are going to help to relieve them help to transmit them with heavenly fire so that you can be bravely taking the next step forward now first the feet send the energy to the feet to help relieve those fears that is your personal fears about being too physical maybe those fears about you know the unknown about stepping into the unknown especially the cold feet energy then we're channeling heavenly fire here to help relieve them as well so that you can take the next step forward as a gentle like the closing part of this um, healing session okay this mini healing session we are going to close off by giving some cleansing energy to the earth star chakra which will help us to be more connected to mama gaia mama gaia is a beautiful important source for us to connect to okay uh, mama gaia has a lot of like nurturing energy that can help us to nurture our physical body she also have the abundant energy her energy can also help us further ground into the physical and the soul star chakra once again um, this soul star chakra is um, the egg chakra which is also um, the chakra point where we can feel more connected to the soul Again, more connected to our spirit through the divine. Okay, and cleansing the soul star chakra here, heavenly fire. Help us to be more connected to the divine and we'll be able to receive those energy. Okay, beautiful. And uh, let's wrap everyone's energy field here. Energy field. I'll be channeling green color energy for everyone. Green color energy is, uh, to me, I always see green as expansion and healing. 
then some pink color energy for more gentleness for more um it's like nurturing it's like gentle it's um love energy yeah with compassion yes and then golden energy which is a very healing energy um, strengthen um, also acts as a shield sometimes and I wrap everyone in gigantic red rose red rose with a perfection energy red rose is the vibration of love shower with golden glitters the blessing all the good stuff um, healing energy um, for golden glitters abundance joy and happiness and then we just harmonize every all the energies that we have channeled so far. Harmonize everyone's energy field. One, two, three. The other side. Just one, two, three. Take a moment to yourself. You don't have to open your eyes straight away. You can take a moment to just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Take a few deep breath. Give yourself a hug if you feel called to. Or if you feel called to, feel free to, you know, thank the energy that you have just received. Thank the energy that is around you that's working with you. Be gentle when you open your eyes. It can be bright because um yeah, the light can be bright after we keep our eyes closed for a while now. everyone um, have received a uh, very you know healing very lovely session from this um, little you know healing session uh, if the if it's helpful okay if you feel any changes any difference from this mini session itself please feel free to you know give a like subscribe um, comment that how this energy helped you and yeah, if you feel called to, um, you know, schedule a Reiki session with me, usually my Reiki healing session would, you know, have similar vibe to it. So yeah, looking forward to to work with you. So, um, if there's nothing much, yeah, I'm going to sign off here. Talk to you guys soon.